Meanwhile, violence in Ivory Coast is spreading in the commercial capital and along the border with Liberia as African Union efforts to end the political crisis continue. Both of the country's rival presidents are invited to African Union-sponsored talks Thursday in Ethiopia. VOA West Africa correspondent Scott Stearns has that story. African Union heads of state given the task of resolving Ivory Coast's political crisis are trying to organize a meeting in Addis Ababa this week between incumbent President Laurent Gbagbo and the United Nations certified winner of November's vote, former Prime Minister Alassane Ouattara. The panel invites Ouattara, Gbagbo and the chairman of Ivory Coast Constitutional Council to participate in that meeting. African Union Commission President Jean Ping went to Abidjan over the weekend, carrying a message from the five heads of state concerning their plans for resolving Ivory Coast's political standoff. The heads of state met in Mauritania, but decided not to go to Abidjan themselves, instead inviting the rival presidents to Ethiopia. Mr. Watra says he'll take part in those talks. Mr. Bagbo has not yet replied. In Abidjan, UN peacekeepers continue to patrol areas of the city where Bagbo and Watra supporters have fought for more than three weeks. That violence has displaced more than 30,000 civilians. Bagbo militants have set up checkpoints to block the movement of UN peacekeepers, who they say are helping rebels who back Mr. Watra. We don't want to see the UN anymore. We're tired of them. The UN doesn't help us. It is them attacking us now. We don't want them anymore. That is why we decided to set roadblocks to stop the UN. The UN peacekeeping force in Ivory Coast says fighting in western provinces has broken a six-year-old ceasefire. Rebels loyal to Mr. Watara say they captured another big town on one of the main roads to Liberia Sunday. Bagbo government troops say they're responding with heavy weapons. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Dakar. For more information on any of today's stories, please visit us online at voaafrica.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.